Good question. What do we do when somebody insults our Prophet ﷺ? The first time it happened to me, I was at George Mason University giving a speech. After the speech, one came up to me. He's not Muslim. He was an old man, actually. And he, was, he knows Arabic. And he came in my face and he said, What do you say about a 53-year-old man that has sex with a 6-year-old girl? Whoa, when he said this, I almost passed out because I couldn't believe anybody would talk like this. I couldn't believe somebody would say something like this. I knew what he meant by what he said. I was so upset. I started taking my coat off. And I would give it to the sheikh who was with me. I said, you know, just hold my coat. <laughs> I'm going to go on this guy. And as I was taking my coat off, I looked at him and I said, this depends on your question. If it's a rhetorical question, or if you're insulting my prophet, in which case I'm going to take you out back and beat your head off your shoulders. He said, no, 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 it's rhetorical. I said, in this case, it doesn't need an answer. Obviously, what he said, no Muslim would support this idea. Because our prophet, Sallallahu never would do something like this. Our prophet did not do what this man said. But the way he said it, people would think, ah, oh, this is Muhammad. Ah. Our Prophet ﷺ was the example for us, and he was the mercy to mankind. I had to go to the scholars and ask them, how do I answer the question? They said, first of all, you don't get angry. This is in the hadith of Rasul ﷺ, la tagdab. Somebody said, give me nasiha, la tagdab. And then, la tagdab, la tagdab. Don't get angry. Take it easy. Keep your cool. Take it easy. Second thing is, when you don't know, just say, I don't know. But be kind to them. Maybe they will listen to the answer. So the next time, I saw the same guy again. I'm ready. This time, he started with another question. It's nothing but an insult, the way he said it. But this time, I said, thank you for asking me about my religion. He went, huh? He didn't expect that. He thinks I'm going to get angry. Not now. I know we shouldn't do that. Thank you for asking me about my religion. And then, say this. As a Muslim, I cannot lie. As a Muslim, I cannot lie. If I lie, I can go to hell. And, if I don't tell the truth, if I make a mistake, you can check it out anyway because everything in Islam is preserved 100%. Mia Mia. The Qur'an and the Sunnah, we still have it today as we had it centuries ago. So it's there. So it's easy. We can find the answer. But by the way, and here it comes. Are you listening? If, while you are listening to my answer, you like the answer so much that you say, that's better than what I have. Are you going to be ready to make a move? to something better? He said, yeah. And then I began to give the answer. First of all, the hadiths are in book. Just remember this. No matter how harsh the questions come, you have a responsibility to present Islam in the best way. Don't try to be Ahmed Didat, or don't try to be Zakir Naik, don't try to be Yusuf Asis. Be you. Be yourself as the best Muslim you can be. Wallahi! And I don't like to say, Wallahi, because I'm not Arab anyway. But when I say this, I really mean I wish all of us would just use what Allah gave us and be the best Muslim you can be. This would destroy shaitan on this planet. He wouldn't have a chance. May Allah guide us.